Good evening, friends. Welcome to you to the today's holistic wellness workshop. Today, being Saturday, we have a special workshop. How the meditation is going to cure all the diseases, my dear friends. So, before going to the session, before going to the subject, we'll do small meditation. Little meditation we'll do, and then we'll start the subject. So, let's start the meditation, friends. Sit in the meditation. Comfortably. Okay. Sit in the meditation for next uh, 10 minutes at least. After that, we'll start the topic for today. Sit comfortably. Clasp your fingers. Cross your legs. Try to maintain the as much as darkness as possible around you. Not much of light. Not required while doing meditation. Sit straight, back erected, close the eyes gently, gently close the eyes, then start observing the breath. Simple, natural breath. We'll do meditation for next 10-15 minutes. Ana Panasati meditation. Observe the breath, natural, simple, tender, free, peaceful, tranquil breath. Harmonious breath. Go on up to the breath, my dear friends. No more thinking. Do not entertain any other thoughts. Just be with your natural breath. To get any thought, cut the thought right away. Come back to the breath observation again.
लास्ट वन मिनट आई फ्रेंड्स मे दा टू फाइनल वन मिनट मेडिटेशन Last thirty seconds. Last thirty seconds. Last ten seconds. My dear friends, final ten seconds. Last five seconds. Final five seconds. Keep coming to body awareness. Last five seconds. Raise your hands on your eyes for five more seconds. A difference. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly take your hands. Friends, please come back, <clears throat> and then. <clears throat> Switch on your videos, my dear friends. Right. Okay, friends. So we'll be starting the session now. So today's our topic is how the meditation is going going to. Cure the diseases. How the meditation cure all the diseases, heal the all diseases. Meditation cure all the diseases. Meditation heals all the ailments. My dear friends, friends. So when we understand the disease, this is that means the disease means we are at discomfort. We are not at ease. Our physical body is not is not at ease. That's called disease. Okay, it happens in the physical body. My dear friends, so let's understand this disease. Basically, the eruption of disease in the physical body. What are the various sources for the cause of the disease? In the physical body, yeah. friends. When we understand that, then we will also find out the solution for the disease. Basically, how the meditation is going to help to find out the solution. Like how the meditation itself is a solution. 
for healing the disease. That we can understand in detail. Friends, so any disease which forms in the physical body, basically, so what, what exactly the disease means? The variation, the variation or the discomfort or our, whatever we perceive in our physical body from the normal condition. Anything, it may be with respect to your breathing, with respect to your uh, digestion system, with respect to your excretion system, and with respect to the so-called urination. Wherever you find the symptoms which are beyond the normal, which are the something called abnormal. Okay, the abnormal and discomfort, abnormal and discomfort within the physical body that we call it as a physical disease, my dear friends. Physical disease. Not we are not calling it as a mental disease or whatever. That we'll discuss later. But this physical disease is something called a abnormality with respect to a particular process. So within our physical body, there are many things are going on, isn't it? Within the, within the brain, right? A lot of process goes on. And within the heart, a lot of pumping of the blood, blood keeps happening. And especially lungs, they, they, they do their own functionality of the filtration of the, you know, especially uh, removal of the toxins from the blood. That also it does, right? And it comes to the digestive system. So with respect to digestive system, both sides, left and right. So left side, left side comes to be probably, you know, the, you have a, sorry, right side. Right side comes to be, you having liver and gallbladder. Left, left side, of course, pancreas, right? So these systems also works with respect to the digestive system. Not only that, you also have small intestine, big intestine, okay? Then comes to colon, then, then comes to anus, okay? So these are the entire body from top to bottom. Every organ is, every organ is functioning on its own, my dear friends. We are not controlling. So always remember one thing. Our mind is not controlling any organ here. Our mind doesn't have any role in controlling particular organ uh, activity or functionality. Okay. We are not consciously not, we are not, we are not all doing consciously. But we discussed, you know, so probably in some other class also we discussed within our brain, right? Cerebrum, cerebellum, two are there, my dear friends. So that is where what happens is we have a, the functional centers, like you know, the functional centers of each and every organ within the so-called cerebellum, right? Cerebellum, cerebrum. So that is where you find a lot of centers which are related to every organ. So it means every organ is communicated. See the brain, what it does? Brain controls the brain, always controls the messaging system. It means it's like a telephone exchange. Brain is like a telephone exchange. What it does basically is it sends the signals, basically. It sends the, sends the information or signal to a particular organ. What, what action to be taken? That only will be sent by brain. Okay. If that is cut off, the organ will not receive any kind of a message. Yes. So that forms the disease again. Okay. So that's how, friends. So the brain will control the messaging system, information system throughout the physical body. Try to understand. Okay. Now, if a particular organ deviate from its normal functionality, from its normal functionality, that is called disease. Okay. How do you correct that? How do you correct that? the abnormality or the deviation from the normal, its own normal functionality. Friends, always remember what is the, see, whenever we see the root cause for any ailment, for example, any ailment, as such the physical body doesn't know anything, isn't it? So only thing is whenever you get some accidents or some cut on the, you know, on the physical body anywhere, so those things only you know, so consciously you know how it's happening to your physical body. Otherwise, remaining everything else, everything else, all depends upon two things. One is your mind, other is your, the food input what you are taking, right? So, these two are the sources, introduce the, keep on into the diseases, my dear friends. They go on introduce the diseases. For example, somebody eating, somebody is lifestyle and, uh, lifestyle and food style, especially lifestyle and food styles. They are completely in a wrong direction. Let's say he does, he takes the alcohol, he, he, uh, he always, you know, uh, use the so-called tobacco, right? If these things are done by him, then what is that, you know, the inside, inside, especially with respect to liver, you find a lot of problems, isn't it? Because this uh, alcohol, 
whatever the alcohol goes inside plants. So what it does is it is directly going to affect the functionality of the liver, isn't it? So that's how we introduce some diseases basing on our lifestyle, okay? Basing on our lifestyle and food style. And see, some, some people, what they do is, so, I mean, they may be knowing, they may not be knowing, but they try to eat a lot of sugar-based sweets, okay? So, without knowing or knowing, knowingly, okay? So, they are attracted to it and they keep on eating. So, no control on it. Then, if they eat more and more, what happens? The sugar level, the, uh, the kind of a, the glucose content in the blood, it goes, you know, it, uh, it jumps in, it jumps up. So, that means the high curve, it's, it's going to be spiked up. So, when it, when it is spiked up, what happens? So, that causes a lot of other issues within the so-called the blood arteries and the vessels and, you know, all that. So, that is why, so what needs to be done is, we need to really have the proper monitoring system on the input, input of the diseases. That means, what are the causes of the disease from where it comes? So, that we need to carefully understand. That's why I'm telling you, one is lifestyle, one is food style, okay? And probably there are sources from the environment also, right? For example, a particular environment you are exposed to. For example, you are exposed to the cold wind, right? So there may be a chance that some kind of a virus enters into your body, right? That's possible. Isn't it? And also, when you go to the unhygienic place, maybe you are exposed to some kind of a bacteria, this negative bacteria. Isn't it? That's also possible to introduce a disease within your, within your physical body. But even some of the people, wherever they are exposed to, they are exposed to the cold wave or they are exposed to the any hygienic situation also, they won't be affected because already they have enough amount of immunity power. It's called vital force within their physical body. So it won't be impacted at, a, at any cost, it won't be impacted, my dear friends. You understand? So that's how these are the sources. Now one more source, the mind, right? So this is the major, uh, major, you know, the major. Uh, you can say like a the major contributor, major contributor for the diseases in the physical body, friends. So there is clear research is being done, right? Has been done by many scientists across the so-called, you know, across the world. American universities have done, right? John Hopkins, John Hopkins University, famous university, in fact. So, likewise, many, many universities are there. They have conducted their own experiments on the mind and the mind impact on the physical body. On the physical body, what kind of impact will be there? How it is going to impact, right? So, so it is fully studied, understood finally that, understood finally that your mind is going to directly impact and directly causing many kind of diseases into the physical body. Okay, so how does it cause? Definitely, so there is a mechanism through which, right? Whenever, whenever any kind of you know negative thinking, right? We have certain kind of a certain kind of a emotions basically. All these emotions, okay. For example, so like anger, right? Then the extreme desires, that's called lust, attachment, isn't it? Some kind of a jealousy, some kind of a anxiety. Isn't it? So these kind of things, where these kind of uh, so calm, like you know, there are unset workers, kama, krodha, lova, moha, mada, macharya, some kind of a extreme ego, right? Pride, and all this with all these kind of a negative, negative emotions. What happens in your brain? And it means it happens in your mind, especially mind. Okay, that's a conscious mind basically. So whenever it happens like that, friends. Then what it introduces, it introduces some kind of a vibrations. Okay. These vibrations will get into so-called the subconscious level, my dear friends. Subconscious level. Okay. See, so any vibration, any vibration is introduced by his conscious mind, which gets into something called subconscious state. When it gets into subconscious state, friends, then what happens is it is going to activate, it is going to, you know, like it's going to direct all the cells. The physical cells of the body. The physical cells of the body are very much under the under the control of your own inner mind. Friends, your own inner mind, which is the inner mind? That is subconscious mind. That is your inner mind. Okay. And also it is a, so you can say like, you know, it's a spiritual mind also. In fact, your subconscious mind is also called spiritual mind. It is also called inner mind. 
So that is going to control the entire functionality of even all the bodily cells, my dear friends. Okay. So now, for example, you may be some people, you know, so they keep either they keep keeping some kind of a grudge about somebody against somebody, or they may be keeping a lot of anger, you know, frustration about somebody continuously in their mind. Okay, in the conscious mind, basically. Suppose if you keep anything, if you anything continue, continuously or consistently keep in the, this uh, physical mind, friends, it gets directly sink, in, it gets sink into the so-called subconscious mind, subconscious state. That is where the problem starts. Okay, until then no problem. If you just think and leave it, no problem. But if you are continuously on that particular pattern of thought, the particular pattern of thought, whatever going through in your mind, if you are more, if you are more and more focused. For example, if somebody will be doubting about themselves, so I may have some, you know, uh, some tumor, some cancer, I may have some BP, IBP, I may have some heart issue, right? If somebody is having a consistent, continuous, a mental pattern, if they maintain here, in the conscious mind, that gets directly into subconscious mind, friends. Once it once it is get into subconscious mind, let me tell you, it is going to directly control the cells, the behavior of cells. And uh, in fact, it is going to decide the lifespan of cell also, my dear friends. So it means any negative vibration, the great negative vibrations which comes into subconscious state, okay, through which it controls the all other cells. Some of the cells, some of the cells also they may lose the life also, in fact, because such is the negative the negative vibrations friends negative vibrations which your your own thinking patterns are introducing at the cellular level understand so especially cell my dear friends so cell if you take if you divide the cell what will happen the cell is nothing but you know cell whatever the cell physical cell you are seeing it has got its own dna chromosome rna nucleus all this will be there okay and in fact genes also on every chromosome there are definitely the amount of genes. So there are basically uh, like, you know, we have uh, uh, so many like uh, uh, the amount of number of number of uh, DNA pairs, right? DNA pairs are there in our physical body, isn't it? So in the DNA, one DNA pair, we take also on every DNA, again, there will be genes. In fact, what is counted is 20,000 20, genes are there on every particular, in every particular cell, understand, one DNA is equal to one chromosome, friends, okay, inside DNA, the amount of number of genes are 20,000, now imagine, these 20,000 genes, whatever is there, they carry the actual information about you, okay, about you means, about your current health, previous health, and in the previous lives also, in fact, not only this life, previous lives information also, it will have it, okay, now, when you when you really you know uh, when when the real a negative emotion negative vibration happens, friends, so that is going to impact the, directly the genes. Understand? That is why mind is the environment, right? So basically, mind is the mind is actually governing the environment. Okay, governing the environment. What kind of environment? Either positive or negative, isn't it? So that is why the mind has got you know, say conscious mind. Whatever we think and which gets into subconscious mind, it is going to directly govern, govern the behavior of behavior, our own behavior and behavior, behavior of our own bodily cells, my dear friends. Such is the great impact. It means we need to understand it is not easy. Just thinking anything, whatever you get into the mind, go on thinking, no, don't do that. Be aware and be very conscious. So that what happened, you don't unnecessarily give unnecessary inputs or Great negative negativity to the so-called subconscious mind. Never give it friends. So is the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is also nothing but is also nothing but our own soul consciousness, part of soul consciousness, our own soul consciousness, part of that is subconscious mind. And also we call the subconscious mind itself is nothing but nothing but actually we, we can say, like you know, our inner God. Okay. And also we can say that it is nothing but a universe also, friends. Nothing but a macro universe sitting in the form of in the form of micro universe within us okay so such is the case it means so we have to be so careful okay anything that's why there is something called tadastu if you think anything in your mind 
ஓகே இப்போ கிரியேட் பண்ணுவா பர்டிகுலர் பேட்டர் மெண்டல் பேட்டர் சேம் தட் ஓகே ஸோ ஐ கான் அச்சீவ் திஸ் ஓகே ஐ மே கெட் திஸ் லாஸ் ஐ மே கெட் திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் இஃப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டிசைட் மென்டலி வித் இன் யுவர் மைண்ட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் கோன் டு பி பிளஸ்ட் ஃபார் யூ ஓகே ஊர் பி பிளஸ்ஸிங் த யூனிவர்ஸ் த யூனிவர்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் கோ யுவர் ஓன் சப் கான்சியஸ் மைண்ட் யுவர் ஓன் சப் கான்சியஸ் மைண்ட் இஃப் யூ கீப் யூ நோ இஃப் யூ கீப் ரிப்பீட்டிங் சம்திங் வெதர் குட் ஆர் பேட் வெதர் குட் ஆர் பேட் தி யூனிவர்ஸ் டசன் நோ யுவர் சப் கான்சியஸ் மைண்ட் நெவர் நோ ரைட் வாட் இட் டஸ் இஸ் இட் ஜஸ்ட் டேக் த இன்புட் and uh, the moment it goes the input goes so what it does it bless you like you know either positive or negative both will happen all depends upon what kind of mental pattern you are running in you are running through your mind your conscious mind basically my dear friends so this is how what happened friends so so especially any vibration one one more vibration causes one more disease friends it's not easy don't think that you know any any anything you can do with your conscious mind that means you know the inner inner whatever inner going on inside our mind whatever is going on so you can't you can't just take it lightly that so any anything you can go any anything may happen within me whatever i think how does it matter to others you think you always think like that isn't it no see what happens a particular emotional a particular emotion particular stress oriented the uh, thoughts all these things which goes through your mind it creates that's what i'm telling it creates this so called negative vibrations to a particular organ okay for example you always have something called fear okay uh, you know the kind of a fear fear is continuous with you within you then it is directly going to you know affect is not directly going to affect the so called heart region okay for example if you are uh, you not heart region basically the fear is going to affect the uh, so called the uh, this one uh, kidney kidney okay so uh, more and more fear okay more and more fear it is with respect to kidney it is going to create trouble to the kidney okay and also for example if you are uh, trying to maintain the so called jealousy jealousy or grudge upon others right continuously then it is going to introduce the greatest problem and greatest negative vibrations to the particular organ called heart okay then heart will start getting problem that means within the heart the lot of malfunctionality will start and the cells doesn't behave properly isn't it all that happens not only their friends always remember we are all one we are all connected with one web of energy okay and especially in the recent times quantum science has evolved saying that all we are energy no all are not we are all web of we are all energy beings we are all connected to a great web to a great wave of energy okay there is no difference between one person to other person okay by any chance okay since you don't know much about spirituality and uh, psychosomatic psychosomaticity and uh, basically all these things okay especially we can say like uh, metaphysics okay metaphysics if you are not aware of this uh, uh, metaphysics and all so uh, so friends what will happen is definitely we will be doing we will be committing all these kind of mistakes okay so what metaphysics says what psychosomaticity what we are discussing all this is very very important that so a direct impact direct impact impact on each and every organ with respect to the mental pattern what you are running through okay it's very very important you need to remember and also any time when, whenever you are <coughs> whenever you are grudging on others whenever you are uh, you know showing lot of jealousy on others for example right then what happens is you know within you there are trillions of cells within the other person also trillions of cells but one thing is all these trillions of cells are connected through the web of energy okay if you say if you take a clear photograph right like we are all sitting we are all sitting in this particular zoom and me i am so far so far from your you know place you are somewhere else i am somewhere else if you try to take the capturing of the energy transfer between you and me there is a lot of you know the energy waves you can see energy waves from here to till your place so like that you know so that kind of a energy waves will be always present my dear friends it means what everybody you and me we are all just interconnected interlinked through this energy okay in that case what happens is as per ayurveda if you hate somebody if you hate somebody then your own bodily cells will get confused okay will get confused and you know they will not function properly then disease will start within you not with other person your 
having a lot of grudge in other person. But before the before you showing the grudge in other person, what happens? Your own physical body is getting into discomfort, it's getting into disease. The reason is the your own cells will get confused. Why I why I'm hating, why he is hating other person? That means the those cells also same, all are one and same. So why this hating is happening with the other person? So they get confused. Our own cells will get confused. Then we get into disease, first of all. Okay? This is how the disease starts, friends. Within us, the disease is going to start. Okay. Now, so how do we cure the disease? Any disease happens within the physical body. I told many reasons or many sources of the disease. But let me tell you how meditation is going to cure it. Or other than meditation, there are many, many amount of, many methods of curing. I already explained in the previous class also. So, right. So, friends, what happens is we have many alternative ways of healing. Any kind of a illness, any kind of a diseases which occurs within us all, you know, time to time, isn't it? So, but what happens is more or less Ayurveda and yesterday I told you and, you know, the previous class. So, especially Ayurveda, friends. Ayurveda try to correct the illness within your body. From your body, it will try to, you know, take it out all that uh, so-called discomfort or the disease or ailment in the form of correcting all the nature five elements, Panchabhutas, friends. Remember, Panchabhutas. Okay. So, this is uh, the Agni, that means fire, air. Then this is uh, Akash Tattva, Prithvi Tattva, water element. I say Varna Tattva. So these five elements, okay, by adjusting these five elements, by bringing balance in these five elements, they will remove, they will root out any disease. In fact, that is, they will try to correct Vata, Pitta, Kapha, these three doshas, three doshas. They will try to correct it, then all the organs will come into the normal position, then they start working again, okay. For example, let me tell you, if at all you are within you, there is something called, this is, uh, you know, uh, Akash Tattva and uh, this is a, this is a uh, Vai Tattva. Vai Tattva, whatever is there, air. Okay. If this is increased everywhere in the physical body, right? If this is increased, what happened? The air increases. Then in that particular part, you can start getting pain. Sometimes, you know, may, many people are confused with chest pain as a heart pain. Okay. Chest pain, why it, why it comes? Especially, I told you, this uh, second element, that is a Vai Tattva. It is going to be sometimes increased. Okay. Then it spreads across the body. Wherever that uh, vayu gets stuck, for example, it gets stuck in the, this uh, chest area. What happens? I start getting some pain and discomfort, all that. So you need to understand that way. Not that, you know, it is something else. Okay. So that's how. So the vayu tattva itself is creating such a problem. Understand. So then what, what is the cure for it? Just adjust these elements. That means, so try to balance these elements. So balancing that elements, what, what we do? We use mudras. Okay, my dear friends. So, like that. So, that's also cure. Acupressure. Acupressure, we have complete throughout the body. We have about, uh, you know, something about, uh, <clears throat> we have meridians, basically. Meridians. Okay. So, these meridians, about 12, 12 meridians will be running from, so, from the toes, right, to the brain and especially to the tips of the tumbers, the tips of the fingers. Okay. And also, they are also connected through the this ears also, okay, through the ears also, it is connected. All the organs are connected to these meridians. Now, any flow of energy through the meridian, okay, which glow, which goes to the, the, these meridians are within the physical body, friends, within the physical body, we call them as a nerves, okay, spinal cord and nerves. But within the energy body, we call them as a so-called meridians okay that is energy nodis okay so these energy nodis major nodis major uh, so called nodis about 12 in number okay 12 in number nodis are there so through uh, one nodi each nodi connect so many different different organs across the body from top to bottom friends so through through these nodis okay every organs for example so your heart right and lungs in this portion whatever connected to one particular uh, in this uh, spinal, spinal column or whatever the, the nodi system, right? So, particularly to one vertebra, they are connected. In fact, okay? Likewise, what happens is every organs are connected to every meridian, okay? One meridian connects so many organs from the top to bottom, 
like the 12 or 12 meridians are there all the all these two meridians what happen is the energy flow must be proper okay the energy flow properly go to that through that nadi and go to the that organ organ will be healthy no doubt but many times what happens so because of you know our own thinking patterns and like you know we uh, go on thinking negatively right we try to restrict the flow of that natural flow of the energy right friends here again acupressor also more or less the effect of meditation and effect of the so called uh, uh, the acupressor in fact acupressor or mudra therapy these two especially so they are all more or less you know equal equal to the effect of meditation but meditation is not only meant for this physical illness diseases you know, like removal of physical illness no it's a very very smallest tract we are talking about meditation is got a meditation has got the highest purpose okay so that is spiritual for spiritual purpose we must use meditation not for just curing the diseases my friends but one of the by product of the practice of meditation and the practice of this spirituality the by product is curing the diseases not that you know the main purpose of the meditation is to cure the diseases no don't misunderstand like that never never do that never misunderstand that because so there are a lot of things beyond our you know physical diseases mind beyond intellect there are a lot of things with respect to the soul consciousness so likewise friends so the especially in acupressor also the same thing what we do we try to activate you know different centers on the meridian each and every meridian we activate different centers different energy centers once one one energy center is activated what happen connected to that many, many many organs are there so then the flow of energy see flow of energy will always be happening friends within our so called um, in our own uh, physical body the flow of energy will be always happening because we have already energy we are energy being right we are energy being means energy is always there no doubt about it but the amount of flow of energy all depends upon your own mental patterns see now how how it is coming again they are interlinked okay so the amount of flow of energy go through the each and every tube each and every nadi and then it uh, supply to the each and every organ that is where the restriction gets happened that is where the blockages comes into picture why the why does the blockages comes into picture the blockages comes into picture blockages comes into picture because of friends because of the our own negativity negative thinking our own the the kind of a negative mental patterns what we create here because of any reasons frustration disappointment depression right anxiety fear you no know, judgment so called jealousy right the over attachment all these things friends many reasons are there there are many many reasons so through which what happens is the energy blocks will be created inside the energy tubes that's how so the in the meridians and the energy nodes which goes to each and every organ they get blocks the moment they get blocks the energy supply to that particular organ is blocked then the disease starts in the physical body this how you know the disease hap disease happens with respect to organ with respect to acupressure i am trying to explain you okay and also curing also possible with respect to acupressure itself curing is very much possible right okay so you just activate that energy center so the energy the energy flows from top to bottom neatly cleanly it goes you know goes through all the so this uh, so called all the uh, the so many nodes are there through which energy flows the the complete the curing will be done and it will be healthy friends so that's how it happens in the acupressure so with the with respect to with respect to acupressure it's happening like this but within the meditation also friends now how does the meditation cure the diseases yes very simple when we say that you know sit sit comfortably close the entire all surround is just cut off just cut off everything and just bring the mind as a center pointed focus and you know focus on just a breath just breath so we think that just breath friends we think always that so think that breath is so nothing but you know a small thing no within the breath the entire universe itself is there understand breath is the medium to connect you to the vast consciousness vast consciousness is always there but how do you connect to the vast consciousness you need some medium some kind of a uh, in between a medium mediumship 
so that mediumship is your own breath. Okay. Now we say that in meditation, so you always need to, you know, just observe the breath, close the entire, you know, cut off the entire outside world. Okay. Just come to the narrow focus, narrow cent narrow centered focus of you know your own breath. We come there, we just you know really follow that uh, exact centered focus on the breath, my dear friends. Then that is called meditation. If you start doing it, what happens? Then entirely mind becomes empty. Okay. So if you start focusing completely, uh, focused on the something called this uh, breath, you know, our own breath, then the mind gets empty. That means all the thoughts become zero. Right. So every thoughts, all the thoughts. So they, they become obviously zero. So the moment the amount of thoughts get zero, my dear friends, then we start receiving the cosmic energy from this point. Okay. So this point is there, Brahmarandra. Is also is also called as a Sahasra Chakra. Okay. So the moment, so this gets open, this gets open when you get into the, the deepest state of meditation. Then this gets open. Then the flux of cosmic energy happens. Once that energy comes, you know, again we have all the energy nadis, I told you, right? So the flux of energy, now it goes through all the nadis. Wherever there are some blocks of, you know, blocks are there, right? The blocks will be removed as it is. So that then the energy, whatever you take this uh, uh, so-called cosmic energy, it flows through the energy nadis and it supplies to a very, uh, you know, so-called bodily cells. Also, it is supplied, bodily cells it is supplied as well as it is supplied to the other particular organ. Okay. So, if that happens, what happens is then, so their energy supplied properly, then uh, the organ will work again properly. The organs, any kind of a, the health, you know, the, any kind of a damage to that, the health of the organ happened, right? So, that will be corrected. That will come to the normal condition. Okay. So, with the cosmic energy, proper flow of cosmic energy, you know, to the that particular organ, that particular the bodily cells, my dear friends. See how see how this meditation is working. Right. So that is why many times what we say is do the meditation for long hours. The reason is many of the people, you know, they complain that I am doing meditation, but I am not getting solved my any physical illness. They say that. But how much meditation they are doing, how much emptiness is happening here, that is more important. If you get more and more emptiness here, friends, what will happen is obviously you'll be able to get, you'll be able to receive a lot of cosmic energy. But many people, they sit, they, as if like they sit in the meditation, even one hour, two hours, but the amount of time, amount of time, you know, your stillness, the amount of time for which you got stillness within your mind. That means the peaceful state of mind, the empty state of mind, how much time it happened to you. That is a real, that is a real time of meditation, friends. So if you if you are able to maintain that, if you are able to get that situation, that kind of state of being, right? So just you are know, observing it, observing your breath, then getting into the deep state of consciousness, deep state of consciousness. Then the energy flow, bundle of abundant amount of energy comes inside. Then it goes to the all the nodes, then it gets into the so-called bodily cells. So any any kind of a repair mechanism, right? Once it goes into the bodily cells, what happened? That energy, any kind of ill health with respect to that cell, the cell will restore. Basically, even you know, meditation cures all incurable diseases. They say that they are proven also. So they say it's all proven, but the only thing is it cannot be presented in the public domain. The reason is uh, the hospital, the hospitals, and you know medical chain. They're all uh, really you know all this medical chain and all. Uh, they are very, they are all very strong people. Okay, so they won't allow this uh, meditation is going to heal all the diseases. Means they won't allow. Okay, one second, friends, just a second.
sorry so my dear friends so that's how this uh, cosmic energy universal energy which comes inside and they flow through the nadis then they go it goes into the so called uh, the it, it it go on supply to the the bodily cells and then the body cell will be automatically once the energy gets what happen it will be regenerated or it will be reactivated the body cell which is not functioning normally the any abnormal functionality will be taken out and then the body cell will be restoring that health and then the entire organ also will restore the health that's how the correction of the health happens in every every human human being my dear friends it is it is not related to whether you are you know really is a very strong body weak body doesn't matter if the cosmic energy comes inside if you are able to do it okay in any format if you are able to still the mind that's very important how do you still the mind your own mind that is most important okay so anybody for that matter see yogis many yogis they won't eat anything even in fact they won't take any kind of a so called protein food or you can say like uh, uh, like you know lot of uh, so called nutrients like you know mo most of the nutrients they won't uh, take in fact they won't bother also but how do they survive right they survive based on the cosmic energy right this cosmic energy is sufficiently available in the physical body friends then you can maintain everything no matter what it is your health can be protected to the greatest extent in fact you don't need food you don't, you don't need food the physical physical food also without physical food you can live without food you can live what how many days you can live basically you can live 30 40 days right without water you can live 3 days without the breath energy you can't live not even 2 3 minutes also right the person will die if at all he is not supplied with the proper breath energy isn't it so that is the importance that means as it is becoming you know like uh, subtle anything subtle friends see from the physical or physical food that is uh, so called grass food isn't it grass food to water water is a liquid now liquid to the so called breath breath is a gas okay one kind of a gas or air so see the importance of physical food to the air the air is highly highly important highly highly important and highly prioritized but the physical body is not much prioritized because without the help of that let me tell you one jasmine one jasmine one lady is there corner she lives now also on the pranic energy the breath energy whatever she takes right so she lives on that she won't eat any kind of food and all she won't eat okay still she is surviving okay many times she came to the pyramid valley international also right so that's how friends so very very important and also we have many examples across the world okay see that is why we we as a physical body i'm telling you we are not just the physical body we are beyond this okay we are also mind intellect and soul being soul soul consciousness so the soul consciousness is the original one okay upon which all these three things are built up okay foundation is what soul consciousness and the under on the foundation the you know we whatever we build the number of floors right so like that on the foundation that is soul on the soul consciousness ba basing on the soul consciousness so called intellect mind and physical body they are all built they are built basically okay always understand if at all by any by any means this uh, so so called whatever we build right if that is damaged soul will leave so due to any reason soul itself go back right then this entire the building what you built foundation is taken out foundation is removed so once the foundation is moved out then what happened the entire building will collapse that means the body itself will collapse so that is called death process by difference so that how, that's how it happens so please remember the healing of every disease happens with the help of cosmic energy that cosmic energy you can receive by yourself you don't need assistance of anybody but one thing is there if anybody wanted to heal other people okay they can use their energy they can send the energy to other person that's also again healing only like you know you can cure many diseases by sending the energy to that person okay that's called distance healing but if you receive the energy through 
by your own meditation way, that universal energy you receive yourself, it's called your own personal cosmic energy. Okay, it's called self healing, right? You put all you you whatever the energy you have cosmic energy within you, then you send it to other person who is who is you know suffering from the ailment. Then you can heal that you can heal that person from a distance without touching him, isn't it? So that is called distance healing, friends. This also works. 100% it will work. How does same same mechanism? I am sending energy, he is receiving it. So it goes across all the energy nodes. Then it is supplied to the, the every physical organ, all the bodily cells. Then they become healthy. Then the person will become all right. He become healthy again. Like this, friends. Okay. So somehow, so friends, so we understood basically the sources of diseases and um, how to <clears throat> how to take care of that basically how to uh, prevent it or whatever and how to cure them through the meditation and that also we understood so widely uh, basically uh, you know, with respect to spiritual spiritual scientific temper you know with us basing on these two we try to understand today as much as possible we try to cover thank you friends thank you Right. So, <clears throat> friends, you can ask questions. If anything you wanted to ask, you can raise the hand and you can we'll unmute you. Then you can ask question. Then we'll be ending up the today's session. Right. Right here. So, Anthony, Bharat, Lakshmi, Kantama, you can raise the hand. Or want to talk, raise the hand so that uh, you can speak few lines, few words, and then we'll close the session. Lakshmi Kantama, you want to speak? Lakshmi Kantama, are you there? I give an unmute option to you. Please unmute. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Sir, as you said, um, uh, by doing uh, meditation, uh, almost I have lost my anxiety. Okay. Almost. And fearness is also coming down. Mm. But still I have, like, uh, I may get that disease. Ayo, if my breath uh, ends, uh, mm. ayo, if a death comes up, <laughs> that fearness is still existing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I want to overcome that. It will come. Only thing is uh, the like you know the presence of energy is important. If you have sufficient uh -huh. energy which can be really you know which can be uh, like uh, di directed or diverted towards a particular uh -huh. organ it will avoid. Uh -huh. Basically it will avoid. Okay. But so which organ uh, it, uh, the energy has to flow sir? Okay. So, see, especially like anything, anything fear related, no, then it will go and impact the kidney. Okay. Oh, kidney. Um, kidney. Jealousy and all, it will impact the heart directly. Stress um, will impact liver. Stress. Uh, okay. One how BP thing. comes, sir? Eh? High BP, how? Uh... High BP comes uh, basing on the, the requirement of blood flow, that is because of the stress. How to avoid it, sir? Or like... Uh... No, again, uh, calming down. Uh -huh. Calming down and uh, just, uh, you know, uh, pacifying yourself. Pacify yourself. And see, what happens is, if you start increasing the thoughts here, that, uh -huh. that demands, that demands you know, more amount of uh, so-called the blood, blood uh -huh. flow. Uh -huh. So, to that particular organ, the blood flow has to happen more. Okay? Uh -huh. So, then... What heart will do is it will divert the entire blood towards the brain because you are running through many, many thoughts. No? So it will it will try to divert the entire blood to the your own your, your brain. Then the other organs are completely they are cut off. That means it won't supply any energy to the other organs. Uh -huh. It will supply very less blood. Then that is that is where the problem happens. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is why when you just pacify your mind, you know, answer yourself, 
can come out of that particular thought instead of making it frequent just think and maybe some hours then come out of it detach mm -hmm. that's only the way to correct your health problem if you don't do that you have to go to doctor and take some pills mm -hmm. okay thank you sir thank you that is why human being is provided with a inner doctor it's called it's called inner doctor mm -hmm. who is the inner doctor your own Our, so called my. prana prana you know pranic body or energy body or etheric body in the in sense of you know spiritual you know with respect to spiritual science we call that with respect to physical sciences what we call it as the inner doctor is our own inner doctor is so called vital force or we also call it as immunity power mm -hmm. okay but uh, very uh, nice good lesson sir to understand ourselves mm -hmm. right so <clears throat> it's all about uh, you know what exactly the uh, what exactly is going on the you know the true facts when we try to you know amalgamate everything and put it in one place then it gives some value for it mm. otherwise uh, bits and pieces are available in every book and every place everything but we will not be amalgamating isn't it mm -hmm. that amalgamation is so important yes sir yes sir okay thank you sir thank you right thank you anthony you want to speak yes hello yeah, go ahead namaste sir yeah <clears throat> sir this is the fourth session i'm attending your uh, say, uh, medication meditations mm. really enjoy you know doing meditations sir with you i learned a lot Mm. and a uh, lot of benefits uh, you know also happened in me mm. Mm. so i'm really enjoying you know the sessions with you sir and the knowledge you are giving i really enjoy i uh, saved all your videos with me okay okay yeah. it is very very you know uh, very... like you have been attending from which session uh, the the previous batches also yeah previous also so since four batches you know for since four batches i'm attending Oh, great, great. Okay. Mm. I'm really, you know, just wanted to meet you in personally. So I just wanted to thank you, sir, for all your efforts and all your, uh, God should bless you and give you all that you want. Right. And uh, this, this this service should uh, uh, go on, you know, so that uh, many people can benefit out of this. Sure, sure. So one, one question I wanted to ask. Yeah. if you do a so, lot of meditations is there any side effects you know happens sir only thing is we need to balance the energy see whatever the energy you get you take more and more right you also yeah, yeah. start doing some kind of a the giving out giving out also of course you can take a lot of energy and but only one thing is when you go when you go to the so called the self realization state it okay. won't be it won't be any problem how much ever energy you take it just you know you are a carrier you are a medium it comes and goes okay because you are you are like a mirror mirror okay. it's like okay. a mirror okay it just comes and goes that's all but okay. some people what happen they have still the mind is you know mind is uh, in not in the condition of you know acceptance and uh, mind is in a uh, something called uh, a primitiveness primitiveness okay it's okay. not matured enough then okay. these people if they take more energy that's it that's a problem okay 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 that's okay. where they have to be careful like you know they have to do the barefoot walking and uh, trying to do some work uh, and they try to use that energy and work in garden here and there they try to okay. dissipate the energy do all that oh, okay sir okay. otherwise you know it's going to imbalance them okay okay yeah you know because uh, two years back you know when i was doing the meditation you know was, uh, i got into a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. you know the anxiety and the lost i i lost my sleep for four months mm -hmm. but um, just but that, see what happened yeah. i that's why i suggest you know do some pranayama do some exercises along with the meditation okay okay sir okay add add just you know meditate add the pranayama two techniques and some okay. few, few uh, surya namaskars and a okay. little bit uh, physical asanas 
okay yeah do that and then walking so this kind of then go, go to meditation no problem but yes, once, sir, sir. once you go to the realized state enlightened okay. enlightened state okay then no matter what it is nothing okay. will impact you okay, okay. so that you know as an example to that one of the yogi in andhra pradesh okay uh-huh. what happens is he has uh, like uh, two brothers one brother first of all is you know the elder he sat uh-huh. in the meditation from 1959 1950 okay. to 1989 okay okay 39 years uh-huh. he is a he is a mummadivaram bhagwan bala yogi continuous okay. 39 years not even no food no water no excretion no urination nothing okay okay after 39 years, one fine day, Shivaratri day, that night, he came for darshan. Okay, okay. By the time, you know, he was very little person when he was sitting on meditation. Eight years old. Okay. But, you see, these, these people are, you know, they are Karana Janma. Karana Janma. It's Karana Janma. It means they are meant for it. Okay, okay. Sir. So, in the previous life, they have done, they have done you know, the enormous uh, practice. They just came here and born into one family. Okay. And then, okay. no, that uh, that that person at the eight years age, he was just sitting silently like this only in the house. Okay. 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 Then his father, you know, he is sitting like he's not like waking up at all. Then what he did is he just lifted him and make one small hut. In the hut, okay. he, 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 then he taken and kept him there. Okay. Okay. As it is, he continued like that only thirteen and years, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> 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 And by looking at him, I know, I mean, I mean again, it's a Karana Jarmon. His own brother, younger brother. Okay. <laughs> yes, he just started the feet of his brother. He started, up, of course, after some few years. He just kept on doing this meditation for 40 years again. <laughs> what a miracle, you know. There is one book, actually, you read that book, okay. Bhagavan Malayogi, written in the English, especially by one of the Supreme Court lawyer. Okay. Okay, okay. Because this uh, this is a miracle. You want to give it to entire uh, world, okay? <laughs> so he has written a wonderful book uh, by compiling of all the Bhagwan Balayogi, uh, his messages and uh, the lifestyle, his his own life journey. Everything is written. Wonderful book, okay? It still lives, sir. Yeah. No, nineteen eighty nine, nineteen eighty nine, nineteen ninety. So that times uh, they vacated the body. Oh. Anybody whoever is even the even the God comes to the earth, you know, he has to go back. Okay. So okay. one more one. Yeah. Go ahead. Now I did the English session. So no, I do the Kannada session also. But uh, will it will it have any impact, sir? No, I didn't understand. No, no. I uh, now I finished the uh, meditation with you in the English session. And then uh, after the, the when the Kannada session starts and again I do the meditation, will will it impact uh, because it's continuous? Uh, are you are you doing it? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm normally you know you know not uh, regularly. No Sometimes problem. I even even then no problem. Even then don't worry. Just go on. No problem. Okay. 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 That's, that's I right. only told you in the beginning. Just add up this also along with that. Okay, meditation. Okay. Okay, sir. It's, it's, that way what happened the the balancing of energy within our system also will be proper okay sir. thank you thank you very much sir. <laughs> thank you namaste sir god bless you thank you thank you sir after doing asanas and pranamas uh, should follow uh, meditation or meditation first and then uh, pranayamas no. and asanas beginning, beginning is uh, a, a beginning any one, one or two pranayama and one asanas okay beginning after that meditation Sir, sometimes after meditation, I get uh, pain uh, in uh, forehead, sir. Yeah, that is okay. The med- in the meditation, all these experiences happen, the spiritual experience are all acceptable, not a problem, which will disappear after some time. That you don't need. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you, friends. Dhaniwa.